Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash Kings. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and visit the channel if focus on tips and tricks regarding Clash Kings. You'll get all the necessary data and details for each and every event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the topics that subscribers are asking me to answer on guys. So today, in today's video, we're going to discover three important things and one for the bonus guys. The first thing is that how people are getting, how you can get three pieces of gold governor set when a uh, subscriber asks that how uh, they can get over it so i'm going to tell about that particular thing after that the second topic that we are going to discuss out here is going to be that how you are able to get the maximum number of speed ups okay uh, so we are going to discuss all the possible ways to get speed ups and the third topic is going to be that what is the formation that you can use for defeating the level 5 campsite with the least stats from your end guys so that is the third topic and at last at the fourth i'm going to tell you the best formation for the cavalry players that i have recently made one guys so i'm going to share it with you guys maybe it will be helpful for you guys also guys so let's begin the video without wasting any time let's start with the one that how you are able to get the governor set three pieces of gold guys yes guys for that particular one it's easy over here you need to go to the ranking event here over here and then after that you need to go to the god of forging guys in the god of forging you can see over here there is one 40 million reward okay just open out this 40 million you can see over here governor sword of gold quality you are able to capture from here okay then at the 50 million reward you are going to get governor armor and government no leg armor so three pieces you are able to get for free from the end of clash of kings just that particular one guys rest if you want to go on with the governor side you need to spend some cash from your end so that is being mandatory guys apart from this you can use these three pieces for free all you need to do is to unlock these rewards guys now let's move to the next uh, thing is that how what are the even that can give us huge amount of speed ups guys basically guys if you are talking about the building speed ups guys on the daily basis you are able to get some of the uh, building speed uh, ups from the traveling merchant you are able to get around 100k uh, sorry 100 of two hours of speed up for the building from here only okay just if you want you can go on with this particular one rest treasure rift everyone know that treasure rift is the massive one that can give you around two thousand of the two hour speed up of each kind if you are able to participate in that particular event very actively guys so don't miss out that particular one all you need to go is to the treasure rift and then just go on with the restore and redeem whatever you want to go on with okay you are able to on the daily every week you are able to get two thousand of the two hour building research training like this you are able to capture on apart from this there are another event that is being we're focusing on for that particular one like you can see one is going on general expansion carnival you are able to see over here the expansion achievement you can see over here 2100 of the two hour speed of for building 43 and like this the more you are going to expand from your end more of the uh, um, speed up that you are getting in return guys apart from that there is another event basic events that we are going on uh, on the daily basis you can capture out that particular one okay because each and every event can give you some amount of the uh, speed up so i'm not going to give you a expansion of that particular event on the single basis because it is going to take a lot of time so these events are uh, i'm going to cover i'm telling you only those events which can give you the massive amount apart from this guys there is one more event that can give you really good count of the speed up that is the strongest lord in the strongest lord on the, the here also for the normal rewards for the junior one also you are able to get the speed ups for sure but for the advanced girl guys this one can give you huge amount of speed up. like in the first reward you can see 50 of one hour speed ups then comes eight hour speed of 13 pieces okay for the second chest and the for the third chest 12 hour speed ups nine pieces 12 hour training speed ups 13 pieces 24 hours occult speed ups seven pieces so this is a really good count all you need to do is to participate in this particular event very actively and all these speed ups can be used guys so it is not a very bad count it is really good and the 
thing is that the necessity of completing this event is very much manual guys it is not very much hard guys now the thing is that what are the stats that is being needed for defeating level 5 campsite let me tell you that what i have observed i have observed that when you are using cavalry infantry plus cavalry based castle or the formation or the skill setup on this particular basis it will be easy for you to defeat the level 5 or level 4 campsite on the solo basis guys i have observed myself because i am having i am working on a siege caster of p5 right now and its stats is already being under around 1400 percent of attack defense and hp is around 800 percent plus but still i'm not able to use the same formation with the same formation uh, hitting out so basically when i am just setting my skills to cavalry with that castle also it works very fine and i'm able to uh, defeat the level 5 campsite on the solo basis so what is the formation let me tell you about that particular one so for the formation all you need to do alliance battles preset rally formation and you can able to see over here here is the formation guys this is the formation you don't have to use the manual just if you are handling 900 uh, percent to 1000 or 1100 1200 percent of the basic stats you are able to defeat level 5 campsite for sure just make sure the campsite should be of siege will be siege or cavalry it will be because some of the archer and infantry campsite really need around 1400 to 1500% stats sometimes guys because i am able to defeat each and every kind of campsite available in this one guys with any of my troops any of the heroes because every hero of mine is already exceeded 1500% so that is the reason but now let me show you the one you can see over here brightness ranger t14.03% 0.20% Grand Siege, 0.20% War Elephant, 1% of Griffin Tough Armor, Razor 1%, 2.90% of Griffin Knight, 0.20% of Paladin Tough Armor, Paladin Razor 0.50%, 0.50% of Paladin, then comes 2.50% of the Shora Archer Tough Armor, Shora Archer Razor 2.50%, 3% of Shora Archer, Pages Knight T12 of Cavalry, 2.50% tough armor, 2.50% razor, and 2.50% pages knight, guys. Then comes the savage warlord, 0.50%, 0.50% razor, and 4% of the savage warlord, guys. Then armor and razor, 3% for the T11 of the siege. Then come 3% of the normal siege, guys. Then come for the archer. T11 of the archer, armor and razor you need to use 4% and for the normal T11 of archer you have to use 4% guys. Then comes the T11 of cavalry, for the razor and armor you need to use 5% and for the T11 of the cavalry normal you need to use 10% guys. Then comes the uh, infantry, for the razor and armor you need to use 4% and the same for the normal. T11 of the infantry. Then comes the T10 siege 1.50%, T10 archer 1%, T10 cavalry 2.50%, T10 infantry 1.50%, T9 infantry uh, sorry siege 1%, T9 archer 0.50%, T9 cavalry 0.50%, T9 infantry 1.50%. Then comes the T8 of siege 0.50, archer 0.50. T8 of cavalry is 0 0.50. Then comes T8 of infantry 1%. Then comes the T7 for siege 0 0.50. 0 0.50 for archers, 0 0.50 for cavalry, and 1% for the infantry. Then comes the T6 of the uh, troops, guys. T6 of the siege 0 0.30. 0 0.50 for the T6 of archers. Then 0 0.50 for cavalry, and 0 0.50 for infantry. Then comes the T5 troops. 0.50 for the siege, 0.50 for archer, point, you don't have to use the T5 of the cavalry, 0 0.50 of the infantry. Then comes the T4 guys, for the T4, T4 of the siege, 0 0.50, 0 0.50 T4 of archer and the same you need to use T4 of the infantry, 0 0.50. So this is the formation that you need to use, you can see over here, you can use it on any of the mass size from basically i must provide uh, suggest you to use at least 330k plus of the mass size then it will work very 
smoothly and the rest all you need to do is just before hitting out on the solo basis just if you want you can set your skills on the cavalry okay and then you can try out it will give you better result as compared to the other because i don't have tried on because my archer castle is also having better rewards uh, sorry stats so that's why it's hard for me to confirm whether it works for other one or not but for the cavalry one i have seen out that 1000 percent of cavalry attack is also going to hit the or defeat t5 of the uh, campsite with this formation for sure guys so this is about these three topics that subscriber have asked on guys now let me quickly show you the formation or the setup that uh, i have made myself guys uh, i think that will help you out for if you are a cavalry player for sure for the solo one you can use this formation and it is really working very nicely for me so cavalry uh, i think cavalry hit uh, yeah this one uh, so check out the percentile guys because this is going to help you a lot t14 of the cavalry you need to use 44.12 percent keep that you should have this particular enhanced level 80 enhanced guys this t14 of the cavalry level 80 max enhanced all the four one then comes the t14 of the knight cavalry okay for that particular one you have to use 9.80 percent for the enhancement you can use the enhancement level of 60 plus guys at least 60 enhanced should be uh, uh, done for the t14 of the cavalry dark guys then comes the t14 of the infantry you need to use 1.47 percent if you talk about the enhancement level the enhancement level should be at least 50 percent guys okay uh, you should have it 50 enhanced at least guys then comes the uh, t13 of the cavalry you can see over oh, 0.20 percent uh, of the razor and armor and then comes the 29.41 percentile of the cavalry t13 the enhancement level for this should be max 80 guys then comes the next group that is going to be our t12 of the cavalry you need to get it 0 0.98 percent around 11 percent of the razor and attack uh, armor then comes 2.45 percent if we talk about the enhancement you should be at least 50 enhanced or plus guys you can go with the max 60 also for the infantry also one percent of each and then comes for the normal infantry t12 you don't have to use any for this particular one enhancement should be at least 50 guys okay then comes the next one that is going to be t11 of the cavalry you should use 1.47 percent of the armor 1.47 percent of the razor and 2.45 percent of the normal t11 cavalry for this particular one the enhancement level should be max 60 guys then comes the t10 of the cavalry guys you need to use around three percent of this particular one guys so this is the particular formation that i'm using on right now and it really works very well if you are having the same enhancement level that i have mentioned on and if you talk about the stats you should have at least uh thousand percent uh, 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 of the hp for cavalry if not thousand you should at least have 900 plus of hp the damage should be around 130 plus percentage plus of the cavalry damage rest attack defense and all those things can work very well with the booster or not main thing the damage and things works very well over here guys so this is the everything that is to be mentioned in this particular i hope that you guys really like the video and if you find the video information useful please hit the like and subscribe button for sure i will be back with another video as soon as possible till then keep going with gamers forum thank you guys